we'll, we'll warm up to that. Which is partially part, part, of, part of the reason. <laughs> you have to give it time. You, you don't just marinate. dive right in there no. to that topic. <laughs> you don't just say hi, That's welcome why to the studio. it doesn't work. <laughs> How did you make the girl at Eight Kids Climax? <laughs> hi, welcome to Pittsburgh. <laughs> Jessica Drake is with us here on 105.9 The X right now. As promised, she is at Cheerleaders this weekend. She was actually there yesterday uh, for the first time as part of the anniversary party celebration. Our photographer, Bryce, who's in studio right now with us, and I, I was there as well. We took photos, and you can see the photo gallery online at WXDX.com on our page. How was the crowd last night? Was it in full voice? I imagine it was after open bar for a couple hours. Yeah, they were absolutely phenomenal. It was a packed house. It was shoulder to shoulder and I was all over them. Good for you. It was Good really girl. great. Now you got two shows tonight and then two shows on Saturday. Yep, I do and everyone should definitely come on down. Uh, after my shows I'm doing merchandise and promo. I've got DVDs. I'm doing Polaroids everything and I'm also giving away free autographs and what I want to do real quick on the show is I want us to come up with a secret word so that they can come to me and say hey I heard you on the X mm -hmm. so what what should the secret word be if they're listening mm, to me right now from today's show me. how about rager I was just gonna say yeah if somebody comes up to you and says Ross Morgan Rager or anything <laughs> close to anything we'll resembling it, we, we have we'll to give you background Rager okay, okay. Rager. We'll say Rager but you have to come and whisper it into my ear because if you're shouting it out in the line then everybody's gonna shout it out right so right come and whisper Rager in my ear tonight at your leaders uh, now do you know the backstory on that not at all <laughs> all right the backstory on that is this there's this kid his name is Ross Morgan and he goes he's gonna be so tickled pink that a porn star is talking about he is him right he now. is right now the coolest kid in school we often talk about being the coolest kid in school. Ross has now been dubbed. Aww. Once you start talking about this, the coolest kid in school. And part of the reason is apparently he wasn't, but right. now he is. And <laughs> these kids at North Allegheny, which is a northern suburban high school here in Pittsburgh, decided that they were going to create what was in effect a Project X style party in honor of their friend Ross Morgan. Okay. And they put it on Twitter just with the hashtag Ross Morgan Rager. And it turned into an international thread on Twitter. To the point that kids were trending it in Britain, states as far, far away as Idaho. We're Where talking was my about, invite? Well, it know, turned, right? everybody yeah. wanted to know, what is this Ross Morgan Rager? How do we get invited to the Ross Morgan Rager? <laughs> when all it is, it was a big bash here in the North Hills of Pittsburgh. Now it's like some international happening. That's awesome. And now you're part of it. Yeah. yeah. So now you have to perform. Now you're Clearly first... I'm the entertainment. Right. In right. Uh, shows and cheerleaders. Only the seniors. Seniors of that class, okay? 18 and over, please. Yes. 18 and older. Right. You're already breaking the 21 and older part of the alcohol, but hey, we got to stick with the 18 and older porn part of it. So at any rate, um, this story turns into a big, big deal here in Pittsburgh. We were talking about it on the air. The TV stations covered it, wow. everything like that. And uh, now they decide to dial it down some. Um, it's too late. The police know about it, though. Right. Oh. And yeah. they're actually taking Ross Change Morgan out of town. The, yeah, the parents they're are They're sending essence, him to the dads in Ohio. They're oh, deporting man. him. They're deporting him to Ohio. Man. So they wanted to make it abundantly Although clear. maybe we could have you talk with the dad, just speak with the dad, and maybe he could bring Ross Morgan back into Pittsburgh, and he could be a guest at one of your shows. I'll put on the, the dad, outfit. the dad, of course. Of course. Of course. The I'll dad, put the on dad. the outfit that I'm going to have on for my first show tonight, and I'll distract the dad. Yeah. Right. Look over here. <laughs> Where, where's Ross? Where the hell did that kid go? I thought you had him. Right. Part of the goal was for him to lose his virginity, too. Because the kids who were deciding... Oh, and they're taking that away from yeah. exactly. Unless exactly. there's some skanks out in Ohio that want to give it up for Which them. Which I'm sure there are. I'm yeah. going to start my own online petition about that. <laughs> Hashtag Jessica Drake Rager. <laughs> Alright, so whisper in my ear tonight. Rager at cheerleaders here in Pittsburgh. Alright, we'll set aside some... Uh, up. We'll set aside some passes, right. too. If you go to, like, first two people, like, well, I'll, I'll figure it out, but yeah. we'll figure out a way to well, get you Well, it's perfect in. is that the party's canceled now, so all of those parents who thought that they were going to have to figure out where their kids were, they, they can, can now... chaperone me instead. They're now free to come down and see you this weekend. Perfect. All right, we're going to play a song here, but when we come back, we want to talk about the Nadia Suleiman stuff. We want to oh, talk right. about your uh, parody work that you've done, which is really good. I'm particularly interested in one of them. We'll talk about that in a second. Cool. It's the... Uh, the Rocky Horror parody. All right, so we'll get to that too. Jessica Drake here on 105.9 The X. Boy, Jessica Drake after Rise Against here on 105.9 The X. Tim Benz, Bob McLaughlin. Make sure you go to WXDX.com. Click on the link for the Cheerleaders photo gallery that we have posted in the wake of last night's anniversary party. It's not quite the Ross Morgan Rager, but it was pretty close. 
Jessica has been kind enough to allow a couple people to get into cheerleaders tonight for free. Tell you what, we'll make it uh, we'll make it tonight or tomorrow, your choice. And uh, the first two people that email me, make sure you include your uh, return email address in there too, please. Uh, email me through the McDonald's inbox at wxdx.com. Email me the word rager. Just email me because this is her code. Remember, word. that's her secret <laughs> word over the weekend. Yeah. You don't want naked pictures in your inbox as well, like no. If they're from pictures. you, then that's fine, but not from <laughs> these people. Just the word rager. Yeah, right. just the word rager. I don't think you want your screening process to be that. Wait, advanced. wait, wait. The word rager written on some portion of their anatomy in a sharpie. Mm. Uh, That's pretty cool. Now you're getting complicated <laughs> for our listeners. If you want a special prize for them when they get down there tonight, then that's totally up to you. <laughs> nice. Our listeners don't Wait a second. Own All Sharpies. I see are two R's right together. Well, give me a minute. <laughs> if you drop trowel and I right. see the word rager. <laughs> that would be very wise, though. <laughs> right. An R here and an R here. Guess where the A, G, and the E are. <laughs> All right, so um, before we play the song from Rise Against, I'm serious about that. The first two people in, get yourself and a friend in. Go ahead and email me through the McDonald's inbox, Rager, right now in honor of our good friend Ross Morgan. You get to see Jessica Drake. Ross, you're not allowed. You're not 18 right. yet. Man. Right. Plus, you're going to be in Ohio. But when you are, yeah, right. look out. Now sign up for the armed forces. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't go there. Um, we do want to talk about this uh, big story that developed about you and Nadia Suleiman, Octomom. I know there's not a lot that you can say, so if I lead you down a path I'm not supposed to, just That's say right. no comment. Uh, I'm used to that with the athletes and whatnot that we interview. <laughs> so the story came out that she did this solo film, this uh, um, self-pleasuring film, because she needs money to feed all of her kids that she has this giant house with or whatever. So None she, of the bathrooms work. Times are tough for her. So she decides to go into the adult industry after she vowed for years and years that she wasn't going to do it. And as the caller pointed out before you came on, she had never managed to, as you say, reach utopia yes. before. Yeah. And somehow you were the inspiration for her to get over that hurdle. Could you tell us how? Well, I think... I think that I was the inspiration <clears throat> could sort of be misconstrued a little bit. Um, what what happened, and I, I did sign a confidentiality agreement as far as my involvement in the story, and more will come out in a few weeks, okay. and you guys will know all about it, I swear. Um, in the meantime, let's just say that it happened in sort of a roundabout way. Um, my home was the location that was used for that shoot, and I am with Wicked Pictures. I'm a contract mm -hmm. girl. I have mm -hmm. been for eight years. I direct for Wicked as well, so I'm not just a performer, uh, but I have a line of instructional, uh, educational, sexual DVDs. How tos? Yeah, and I'm I met with Nadia a few times because she was there for uh, makeup tests and wardrobe fittings and that sort of thing, and um, you know it's it's really different when you meet somebody in person, and I was really affected by the idea that she, as a woman in her 30s, had never experienced that type of utopia. Mm -hmm. And I think that if this is an industry that she is going to be involved in, that she really needs to do things to make her happy. She needs to really know her body, have a great understanding of the way things work. Um, and there's a lot more to it than that, and I really wish I could go into it a little bit more, but I'll, I'll just say that I think what she's doing, the way that she's doing it, um, is probably the best way she could be doing it. She, she, they own that product. Like, she didn't take a bid from a, a movie company. Mm -hmm. They're doing this on their own. So Team Nadia is in charge of everything. They decided to, you know, come up with this, and they did it on her terms. So. I do have to ask, the pumping out of the eight kids, does that make it a little bit more difficult? Well, she has 14. Four, she sorry, has, 14 she kids. She has 14 kids. But imagine um, eight in a row like right. that. Would... Well, <laughs> bam, bam, bam! They were born C-section. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And so... That's a capital C. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Um... And let's just say that things were not as I may have imagined that they were going to be. Okay. Ah. Uh, so I you were, were you right? Were you right there? Oh, were you? I yeah. was. I was right there, and she was really nervous because, of course, like anybody's first. Time I'm nervous at, talking about anybody's it. Anybody's <laughs> first time at anything is, of course, really intimidating. Um, but I sort of slowed down the pace of the shoot a little bit. Oh, okay, okay. And talked to her and and sort of gave her some thoughts or some ideas and the results were very uh, explosive utopian <laughs> utopian <laughs> um and Let's so just I, I didn't know she was gonna give the quote to the huffington 
post. Right. Like that, that's sort of how I got involved in all of this, that that was how And that's the I quote was, where she thanked you and said that she owed everything, all the how, success of that to you. Yeah, okay. that's how I got outed in this whole story. And, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm honored to have been a part in this from a woman's standpoint, and I try not to get caught up in the rest of it because I, just like everybody else, had my preconceived notions. And I just want to say that I really learned a lot. I learned not to judge people. People judge me because of what I do all the time. Well, you have to be happy about the technical part of it, too, that what you said worked. It, First, yeah. step well, one, I mean, there, it's like, you know... There may have been a bit of a demonstration involved. Okay, okay, a how-to. <laughs> well, right. she does do the DVD. But right. I do, I have a... Oh, I, yeah. And she, she watched them, and I sent her home with homework and... Let's just say accessories. I'll say accessories. Okay. Um, and it's it's called Jessica Drake's Guide to Wicked Sex Female Utopia. Gotcha. Got it. Um, and so there's a, there's a whole series of these. I give seminars and workshops all over the place. You know, I just spoke at UCLA last week. And it's been a really great opportunity for me after having been just a performer for about, I'd say, eight years. I was strictly a performer. To now be able to give back so much. Mm -hmm. Not just to guys, but women and couples too like I'm really helping people with their sex lives so it's very cool. quickly Jessica because we only have a minute left here and uh, I do want to plug one more time that you'll be at cheerleaders in the street district 3100 Liberty Avenue two shows nightly tomorrow and tonight in so be face. there <laughs> make in sure you show face. up that's one of our DVDs I yeah. was <laughs> uh, speaking of I brought DVDs for you guys keep talking okay I will keep talking because I do want and thank you for bending over to pick them up in that fashion. Uh, I do. Bryce, were you filming you, there? Were you filming <laughs> Tim or were you filming Miss Drake? Uh, I do want to ask you about maybe you have a DVD in this purse of yours that you can give me on this one too, because I'm dying to see the Rocky Horror Picture Show parody that you did. I'll have it tonight at the club if you come back. Um, we did Rocky Horror, a hardcore parody for Wicked Pictures, and it was actually our first foray into parodies. People throw rice at you? Uh, well, we did, did that at the You show up as a virgin. I don't even want to ask what went on with Frank and Furter. I play Janet. Okay, right. Brad. <laughs> oh, Brad. Uh, so I got to be Janet, which was really great, but I have to tell you, it was a hard movie to shoot because everyone on the cast was cracking up the Goofing whole time. around the whole time, yeah. It was yeah. so funny. And you have to be detail-oriented. Very, yeah. very, very. Uh, Randy Spears played Stiff Staff. Rocco Reed played Brad. We had Kehlani Lay in it. We had Electra Blue in it. We sort of uh, modified some of the characters, of course. Yeah, you have it's to. It's a parody. Um, but it's like roll off the bed funny. It really is. And the um, scenes are very utopian Okay, so as well. if you show up and you see Jessica at Cheerleaders tonight and you say, you whisper in her ear, per her request, the word rager, rager. you'll get the Rocky Horror DVD. Now, you're not painted totally <laughs> blue right. in any of these scenes, right? I am not. Because uh, I will tell you, my introduction to you was flipping through the TV one night. We come across HBO and... <laughs> Lo and behold, there's an entirely naked blue woman on the screen. It was fun. I just wish they wouldn't have used a waterproof sealer on me. That wasn't part of the makeup test. <laughs> we all went in. That was well, like asphalt or something well, like that, that. That was for a movie that I did for Wicked Pictures years ago. And um, they did a makeup test on me to paint me blue. And they put cat eye contacts in and right. prosthetics on my face and everything. Um, but they didn't try out the sealer on me. So when I was on the set and then I was getting ready to do my scene, they sealed me so it wouldn't come off on my male <laughs> counter part and the ceiling wasn't a great idea because it couldn't breathe my skin couldn't breathe <laughs> so when we did it we just did the parody for men in black men in black a hardcore parody and i again was an alien i'm like i see a trend here you but guys. you knew yeah but i knew and i didn't let them paint my body uh what i did instead was i had a lot of i'll send you a picture i had a lot of prosthetics and big blacked out contact lenses oh, okay. and i morphed into a really scary alien. So they want to make me an alien. I don't know why. Well, it worked the first time, big time. I know that, uh, what was it, Space Nuts got a lot of awards, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're great. Thanks for coming in, Jessica. You guys yeah, absolutely. Are great. Best of luck with everything. Shamelessly plug myself. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. JessicaDrake.com, Twitter.com, slash The Jessica Drake, and that's a great way to keep up with me. I have a podcast on iTunes, stfushow.com, and I also host a radio show on Sirius In Bed with Jessica Drake, Sirius and XM 102. I'm okay. so honored that you plugged yourself right in front of me. Yes. And, uh, Rager. You, that's right. <laughs> Rager. Keep in mind, go to cheerleaders and say Rager, and who knows what could happen to you from Jessica. I can't give away all of her DVDs But I'm just there. telling you that I give the best dances your lap has ever had. As cheerleaders tonight so and tomorrow now. in the Strip District, <laughs> your chance to win Rob Zombie and Megadeth tickets at the top of the hour next on 105.9 The X.